What is up guys, welcome back to Cursed Anime Review 5. In this video, I will be discussing Shiko Noko 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 Kosh Tan Tan. The name in itself sounds like a fucking curse. If you don't want to watch the rest of the video, to sum up this entire anime in one sentence, Noko Tan is an anime about a dear like anime girl unintentionally fucking with the school's most popular girl. What makes this school anime original is that the show actually makes fun of cringe slice of life school animes and it experiments with short clips of randomness from time to time. From this alone, I feel like there's a strong indication that this anime is actually inspired by My Ordinary Life or Nichijo. Noko Tan is an anime focused around this human-like hybrid deer, Noko, and the main protagonist, Taroko. Taroko is a popular girl who hides her past of being a delinquent. Noko somehow can sense that she once was, and sometimes calls her delinquent instead of her actual name, which is pretty strange. Taroko has a younger sister who is obsessed with her, that is fucking creepy. Like, honestly, it's really fucking creepy. And there's even a debate in episode 3 with Noko publicly where they expose things about Taroko, what she does in private. But, like, it's kind of funny at the same time. My impression I got from the show is that it's half shitpost, half mockery of generic school slice of life tropes. I mean, the show is literally self aware. If you go to the four minute mark of episode 5, there is a mention of Noko about how she gets fan mail or something along those lines. And it mentions that there's an anime studio. When the trailer came out before the anime is released, I had no idea what to expect. Because of that, I actually saved the date for episode 1's release. After watching episode 1, I was a bit shocked that this is actually very different from the standard boring school story animes. And the fact that no one notices that Noko is a human deer hybrid, or at least no one points it out, only people of the deer club kind of know. I find that pretty strange, not gonna lie. Noko, despite being a main character, we know almost nothing about her background or what she even is. The show's very vague on is she human, is she deer? They save that up for episode 5 though. Not gonna spoil anything, however, they do mention her background, finally. At the time of recording, episode 5 is actually the most recent. Also the second best in my opinion. My favorite is episode 1. The pilot episode is pretty damn good, I'd recommend that. Now onto the ratings and conclusion. On an art scale, I feel the art in this anime is a solid 10 out of 10. The eyes have a very colorful look to them and I have no clue why other anime studios do not have eyes that look like this. Like honestly, I really like the design. Uh, I mean, there's a few, but I mean, I feel like that should be the standard. They're pretty damn sick. The characters look almost perfect. The detail in the background is just right. None of it's a distraction. But it's not overly simple. This is like the ideal art. 10 out of 10. Now, comedy anime usually has a stereotype of lacking real comedy and usually devolves into high school underage girls with gigantic titties making embarrassing mistakes. But Noko Tan defies that expectation by having actual comedy at times that will genuinely surprise you. This section gets a 9 out of 10. Now, the characters are good. However, I feel there's only two really great characters, and that is Noko and Taroko. They are the two main characters in the show. I don't know much about the others. It's so early on, I can't really form an opinion, and I do not want to go off the manga. But, however, one thing I can decide is Enko, Taroko's little sister. I genuinely dislike her. But overall, this section I feel is kind of lacking, but it's not a concern. 7 out of 10. This makes Noko Tan a solid 26 out of 30, or 8.5 out of 10. B+. In conclusion, this anime, unlike others I've reviewed, is not cursed in the sense that it's dark, twisted, or perverted, or any of those degenerate shit. It's that this show is straight up cursed. I mean, the feel to it. It feels like my ordinary life. I'm very confident that there's some influence from my anime. I mean, it has an iconic deer scene, even. I was originally going to make a Cursed Anime Review 2 on Itch Joe. However, I forgot about that, and I'm saving it for next time. Cursed Anime Review 6. Look at this shit. Look at this stupid bullshit. Restarting in 12 minutes and 58 seconds. This shit comes up on my computer every single day. Automatically, your PC needs to restart to finish installing important updates every single day. And every single day, I click later. You know why I click later? Because there's no option to click never. I'd like to click never. I never want to install these bullshit, meaningless, superfluous... I hate them! I hate these stupid updates! Look at this shit! Every day this comes up! And you know what happens after you-
you click later a few times, when a few days goes by, and you keep clicking later and later because you don't want to fucking do it, you just want to put it off, this automatic bullshit that interrupts your work and makes you turn off your fucking computer, and you click later every day, eventually, it takes away the option to even click later, and it just says, these are your only options, it's basically putting a knife to your head and saying you can either, you can either fucking, you, you can either wait 11 minutes and we'll shut sh it off for you, or you can just, you know, bite the bullet and shut it off now, it doesn't even give you a choice to say no, it just comes up whatever it wants automatically and says, fuck you, we're turning off your computer, no matter what you're doing, in 10 minutes and 47 seconds, look at this shit, I am fucking rendering something, you cocksucker, I'm doing important shit, why do you need to install updates, what updates, some more fucking spyware, so the NSA can keep watching what I'm doing, look at them, I did pics and watch me,